Hey what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're finally hopping into the Q&A where I asked you three weeks ago approximately about if you have a couple of questions about me personally or my perspective or my viewpoints on the game. So 170 questions were formulated under that post and well, uh, it's it's not that easy to answer all of them so I tried to pick out questions which are covering most of all of the other questions just to kind of answer as much as possible and in the end I picked approximately 21 questions which I'm going to answer in this video and in the meantime we're gonna have as well a very awesome gameplay running next to it so the first question was already the most difficult one to be honest it's coming from Gunrak and received over 136 likes I don't even know why this comment got so many Likes. Uh, he's asking, does your girlfriend get upset because you find Bastion plus Reaper more hot than her? And well, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I don't really know how to, to answer this question because it's revealing a secret. I mean, uh, I had a very, very good 10-month relationship, and after a while, I just was on the search for something new, and that apparently was the Bastion and the Reaper, and I know that. Uh, my current girlfriend is kind of getting upset with it. She's she's really jealous and after she read this post well uh, Things are going downhill, but in the end I had to move away from the Barracuda. It didn't feel that right anymore uh, I was so much intrigued by the Reaper and the Bastions. Next question is coming from Samuel L. Jackson And he's asking what clan will you like to join in Guns of Boom? By the way, I think you and Gunruck should join a same clan and Overall the clan question. It's a question which is coming quite often and uh, Let me let me clarify on why I'm actually not joining a clan and why am I a solo player? So every time I founded a clan or I joined a clan I, I felt like obliged to participate in the clan life because otherwise it's pointless to uh, join a clan and so far at this moment or, or prior like two weeks ago I had to finish my university degree so I was spending all my time on either studying or making videos and playing Guns of Boom and there was no room for for any social life in that matter so I couldn't join a clan because of time matters and also I, I want to remain flexible I want to do whatever I want to do because uh, one of the main priorities is just doing videos overall. Question number three comes from Saif Ansari. Hi Jules, which is your favorite gun in all types? And this is also a very difficult question. Guys, you're asking really good questions. Uh, I don't think that I can kind of narrow uh, down on the weapon which I love most or which I like most. Overall, I believe that if I would need to figure out a weapon I, I enjoy most playing with or which has the coolest effect, it would be definitely the last breath. Because it's so satisfying when you when you kind of give those headshots and uh, you unlock the ability and then give another headshot and you annihilate opponents immediately. I just love this feeling, it's the best feeling ever. And that's why I would go for the last breath, although I don't really use it in videos, but that might be a good video idea for the future, who knows. Botna TM asks, Hi Jules, can you make a free-to-play farming account and make videos of that? I think that's an interesting thing to do. And I think I can answer this really, really short and spicy by just saying, no bro. Because <laughs> I think... When you're, when you're uh, opening up a free-to-play farming account, it just takes a lot of time until you can kind of produce content from that. That's also kind of important for me. And of course, I've been through that. I, when I started Guns of Boom with my main account, which you always see in the videos, I was free-to-play playing up to level 28. And you always had to wait, you had to stop uh, uh, leveling up and you had to collect always those, those rewards from quests. And all those things take quite a long time. And overall, I think uh, now that I just reached level 50, it would be for me personally to produce such videos very boring. I don't want to say that those videos itself, when you're when when you're watching those videos, are boring. But personally, for me, I would I, I think that it would be for me pretty boring to produce those, as you always need to wait such a long time until you can bring something cool into videos and make them kind of entertaining. Samir Hassan asks, what other games are you planning to do on this channel? I'm really excited about Call of Duty. Not just because I've played Call of Duty in, in when I was growing up on my PlayStation, but also because the game mode is really nice and attractive to me. Team Deathmatch and all that kind of stuff is very 
quick and spicy and it perfectly fits I believe in this channel and how I'm doing my videos and commentaries and all that kind of stuff so I'm looking very much forward to that. Gaming House, please tell us the best moment of your whole journey in YouTube. I think you, you need to differentiate there between the moments I had in YouTube kind of or which I had through YouTube. So for example my most favorite moment in YouTube is always when when you see all right this video is now outstanding well received so people are commenting people are happy about it they're they're uh, giving you positive feedback and I think that's one of the most valuable things youtubers get of course it's nice if you can earn something from that but if your work is appreciated it means a lot I believe to youtuber and also to me so that's one of my most favorite moments so uh, when I realized, for example, when I started Guns of Boom, that those videos are actually quite well received. People love them and they were expressing it also in the comment section and through likes and all that kind of stuff. So I could see, alright, you're doing a good job, people love your videos. And this is one of the best feelings you can have. Or a very nice moment which I had, for example, outside of YouTube. Like the previous games I played, a couple of them were from Game Inside. Uh, from a different developer studio kind of from them and they invited me to Riga so they, they were booking me a flight, booking me a hotel room just to go there, talk with the developers, see how they're working, playing together with them. It was in the game Survival Arena and that was an amazing moment. I just had 1000 or 2000 or 3000 subs, I can't really remember it anymore. But just showing or being invited to, to such an event if you're still that small is just amazing and one of the most amazing experiences of my life, definitely. Asmita Das asking, what was your thought for the game when you started playing it and do you want to compete in the ESL tournament? So my first thought, so I was first of all playing uh, uh, Survival Arena that moment and the reason why I actually started with Guns of Boom was because I got a recommendation so I was then afterwards checking it out made a video about it uh, where I screwed a little bit up so if you check out my first video I, I had the sound too loud because my commenting was not on point that time uh, I, I kind of wanted to overshadow the bad commenting at least from my per, uh, from in my opinion but um, I actually liked it because Guns of Boom is full of surprises in some matches where you go absolutely insane things are constantly working out everything you want to do just happens magically and uh, that was kind of a very very cool experience and therefore I in the end also decided to go for Guns of Boom and leave the other games behind not just because uh, I, I did them for quite a while like the games I did previously but also because Guns of Boom is every match kind of has has its unique ex experiences in it so that's what I lo loved about it and you never could fully predict what's gonna happen and this is just something I believe is really cool and of course on top of that it was one of the first mobile shooters and it was so nice to play on it I mean it was so easy you immediately got into it of course you grow over time but it's not that hard to get used to it and that's what I loved as well so it was an amazing game I loved it right from the start and uh, fortunately I continued with it and about ESL I think I answered that already a little bit but overall uh, my life situation currently is kind of tur turbulent, uncertain. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next, uh, make that happen, what I'm, what I'm planning. And therefore, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. Definitely, I will leave room for, for training for Guns of Boom for, and making videos about it. But I don't know if I have the time and energy to go fully into ESL. But somehow, somewhere, I gotta still... Uh, have my life outside of the game scene and YouTube and all that kind of stuff and I think that might conflict it. So we'll see in the future how that's gonna turn out. Next question, Jaguar, why do you play Guns of Boom? Does it make you feel better or for fun? I think it makes me feel better and also for fun. Your favorite map in Guns of Boom is Farming Complex, definitely. Tell us your best school story. I think my best school story was taking place in university, as you know I graduated. And the best moment I had was the internship. Literally, I was going to China, was spending there half a year in a completely foreign country where almost no one speaks your language. And it was just amazing seeing how, how the country really is. I mean, you hear a lot about countries, um, you base your opinion about it based on stereotypes and experiences of others, but really going there, seeing and feeling it yourself. If there are younger people watching right now who are in university or having, having kind of the chance to go abroad, study somewhere in a different country, 
I would highly recommend it. It's one of the most enriching experiences in your life. Maxan, how much money did you spend on this game? Let me make this short, I believe 400 euros probably on this main account, but also on Guns of Doom Interactive where I wasted like 150 euros just for, for buying uh, the, the, the beginner web. Mark 08 Guns of Boom. So now your graduation is over, what are you aiming to be? I wanna know what are your plans for the future? Are you gonna be a full time YouTuber or you're thinking about getting a job or something? This Q&A is actually getting pretty long, but we're making it a little bit more in depth. So my perfect future would be that I build up my own company, my own projects. I've been working on that quite a lot at the same time. But right now, as you know, students are always freaking broke. So I first gotta get a job, um, gotta earn some cash. I cannot sustain myself at the moment from YouTube. It of course is a dream, but I feel like I don't want to make myself too much dependent on YouTube. Because if something goes wrong and if suddenly everyone would stop uh, watching my videos tomorrow, basically, yeah, well, I can't buy myself anything from that. So, uh, my main priority is, first of all, getting a job, uh, work hard on YouTube. You can see I'm uploading basically Five, every day four, at the moment, three, just to see two, uh, how it would be one. working full time and putting a lot more effort into it, because I'm having right now more time as it's the transition phase from university to job. And uh, I'm just experimenting around it creating opportunities. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I, in the end, I just want to open up my own company. I also have ideas, but that's something else to discuss, I believe. All right, uh, actually, I had a couple more questions, but uh, the video is already getting quite long, so I'm gonna stop it here. Uh, still, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to have another Q&A where I'm going maybe a little bit more in depth into some of the questions, let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you could get a little bit more insight into what I was doing and who I am and uh, yeah well we're gonna continue the video upload spree. Uh, there will be a, s a live stream on Sunday so we're gonna have the weekly live streams back again. That's gonna do it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, we'll see each other in the next episode probably tomorrow, peace out.